talking about development of a bipedal robot that walks like an animation character. Hello, I'm Song Moon Song, and this work is done with Ji Young Kim and Katsu Yamane in Vision Research. We're gonna add some cuteness to this session. Yeah. <laughs> Our goal is to bring animation characters to life in the real world by creating robots that look like and move like the animation characters. The main challenge <laughs> comes from that most animation characters and their motions are designed without considering their physical feasibility. For example, our target characters character has too many degree of freedom for a small robot of its own size. Moreover, its walking motion motions are designed by, by keyframes crafted by our artists. If we play back those motions on a real robot, it'll fall down. In this work, we develop a lower body of a robot that looks like and walks like our target bipedal animation character. The first step of building a robot is to extract animation data and to set target features. In, our, in the original animation data, it provides the skeleton of the character and the kinematics of the walking motion. With, su with such data, we run physics simulations with approximated inertia properties to set our target features, such as the torque requirements, the kinematic structure, and the range of motion. Then, we design and build a robot to realize those target features. Based on the torque requirements, we select the actuators and the controllers. And based on the kinematic structure and the range of motion, we design the segments. Finally, we 3D print the segments and assemble the robot. Given the robot and the animation walking, we set the target walking trajectory. Specifically, we modify the animation walking to keep the stance foot flat on the ground and by mapping the motion to the robot's gym space. Such target motion is not physically feasible. The center of pressure comes out of the stance foot, which means that the robot is likely to fall down. Therefore, we further modify the walking motion using trajectory optimization. The optimization goal is to keep the center of pressure at the center of the support polygon while preserving the target motion. The optimization constraints are set to satisfy the, the physical constraints, such as the motor, motor performance and the friction cone. Such trajectory optimization generates a walking trajectory that looks like our target motion while keeping the center of pressure in the support polygon. The walking trajectory generates stable walking on the developed hardware. There are interesting open questions and technical details I would like to discuss with you in the chat group session. Thank you. Actually, that's one of our like main open questions. Um, I guess there are several ways. Currently, we just compare the join angles, but I guess uh, comparing the motion in the path space is also a candidate. And I think it's so far an open question. 